All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now if you see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Monster. Rise for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting. And it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand or it's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Effective punch there by Lee. Big power shot there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, huge head kick. Lands a nice one, too. Right. 
just missed with the left there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Oh! What a body kick. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Big ball for Brush Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Wow. Nice kick. Attempts the front kick there. Single collar tie now. Blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Well, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just misses there with the left. Great punch, lands with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Straight right hand, no good. Still I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick. Oh, nice. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Now connects with the right. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC, and how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight, but I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice kick there, Lively. Look at how he turns his head. 
his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective strike there by Lee. Big body kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Inside leg kick on the counter by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. <laughs> Liver kick. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of the rare instances where everything comes together. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Single collar tie. He lands a switch knee. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Yeah, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Big kick land. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, good head movement there. Nice leg. Ooh, big shot, man. 30 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Nice defense there. Huge block. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Final seconds here of round number two. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it take an effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice kick. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Unable to land with that punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Punch over the top. Look at how he drives his knees. Right into the corner of the midsection. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Give me a double leg. Uh, Give me a double leg. Look at it. Look at it. Now, shoot, shoot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Checks the leg kick. Great punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cup. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. There's the kick. It's blocked. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Straight punch lands. Quick leg kick. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Put your hands up higher. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh!
gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. How about those five minutes? Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Big kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Big body play. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Big leg kick land. Oh, just out of range for that punch attempt. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch land. Just a slip there. Trying to kick the leg out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good right hand. Over and over, he's landing with a big body kick. What a punch. Lee circling to his right. Just over three minutes to go. Another shot lands upstairs. Establishing that jab once again. Under three minutes remain in round four. It's very tricky when he throws that body. They continue to exchange. Nice strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Let's get more active with the striking. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Left-right combo is good. Block that kick to the body. Big punch lands through the middle. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. A little single collar tie there. And they separate. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. What a tricky head kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Doesn't take much for the redness to start. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Liz. 
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. in a single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, thunderous leg kick. Only blinked a little bit, tried to stay upright. But oh, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Tried with the uppercut there, just missed, or so it appeared. Flicks the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Superman punch now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Kick that one checked by Lee. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well placed kick there by Lee. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Big head kick. Nice punch here. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Oh, thunderous leg kick. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the 
complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Just out of range with that strike. We're switching stances here. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright, but, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Left hand now, unable to connect. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. How good is that right hand? All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, so there's the final horn, and what a performance by underdog challenger tonight. He had it all going on the feet, and in all likelihood, we've got a new champion atop this division. If you're going to take a belt from a UFC champion, your game has to be on point. This young man came prepared mentally, he came prepared physically, and it feels like he used his striking to get the job done. the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ.